are you ready? That's something that we have to think about. Are you ready to eat? What are you going to eat? Well, we have to think about that when it comes to the second coming of Jesus. Are we living in God's heavenly will? Or are we living in the ways of the devil? And we have to look at the things that are here on earth. If we look at Jesus' teachings as that baseline, then the ways of the world are below that. It's something that brings us down. And if we're doing something in there, and whether we enjoy it or not, if we're doing something that is below that standard that Jesus taught how we're to live. And just read what he says. Not what other people say, but what he says. I know it's all secondhand, but just the way it's recorded. And you'll see there's no pain, no suffering, no death. You, you see the attitude, and we're to love all, with no exceptions. That's the baseline. And if we remember that the whole of the Bible is written, well, the exception, you know, up to uh, Genesis chapter 3 is okay. That's written on the heavenly perspective. But from chapter 3, we begin to see the ways of the world creeping in. And it creeps in pretty fast. Are we being tempted by the ways of the world as Eve was in an Adam. Are we being tempted by the ways of the world? Well, all we have to do is look back a couple of days to Thanksgiving, and we can see that most people are celebrating the ways of the world because they're causing pain and suffering and death to a turkey or some other animal. And that's what they have to have on the table or they won't eat anything. I've experienced that. The call of the world is far greater than the call of God in most people's mind. And that's why Jesus teaches us that the road to salvation is narrow. But the way to destruction is broad. Because there's a lot more people going down that way to the destruction. Because they don't think in the heavenly will of God. They're thinking in the ways of this world. And remember, the Bible is written there. There's prophets and, and Jesus, you know, that are talking to us about the ways of heaven. And we don't want to look at the first thousand years of heaven because there's corruption there too. You want to look after that, to the new heaven, the new earth. And there's no pain or suffering or death. And that's a good place to start. That's above what Jesus laid out. That's going up. We have to think about whether we're ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ or not. And as the verse says, it's closer now than when we first believe, and that was written 2,000 years ago. So keep on your toes. Jesus is coming back. Amen.